Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Stephanie and in this video I will be explaining percentages. So this is actually the part 2 so if you haven't seen part 1 I'll suggest you go back and watch that as well. So in this video I will be explaining percent to fraction, fraction to percent as well as ratio to percent. So when it comes to percent to fraction, if you're given a question like 2% as a fraction, the first thing you do is to remove the percent sign, which is this. Then you write the number out of 100, and then you write in the reduced form. I put um, if asked because sometimes the question specifically asks you to reduce your answer to the lowest term possible. So you always remember to do exactly what it's asking you. So the first thing we're going to do is remove the percent sign. When we remove the percent sign, it's going to be left with just two. And then it says write the number out of 100. So it's going to be two over 100. And then we're going to reduce it. So in reducing this, 2 goes into itself once and 2 goes into 150 times. That means that 2% as a fraction is 1 out of 50. So for this example, it says write 36% as a fraction. So the first thing we're going to do is to get rid of the percent sign. So it's going to be... 36, we're going to put the number out of 100, and then we're going to reduce it to the lowest term. And 2 goes into 36, 18 times, 2 goes into 100, 50 times. We could still reduce it again. Always remember to look at the answers to see if the answer you've simplified to might be in the answers if it's a multiple choice question. So 2 goes into 18 9 times and 2 goes into 50 25 times. So this is the lowest term possible, 9 out of 25. That means that 36% as a fraction is 9 out of 25. Since we're done with that part, let's move to fraction to percent. Remember that a percent may be expressed as x out of 100, right here. Also, don't forget to watch the ratio and proportion video for this. So to start with this example, let's use 1 over 2 as a percent. The first thing we'll do is set the fraction equal to x over 100. So let's do that right now. It's going to be 1 over 2 equal x over 100. Then solve as a proportion. And the last thing is to write the answer as a percent. So when we're solving this as a proportion, you have to remember that we always cross multiply. So this way and then this way. So 2 will multiply x, and then 1 will multiply 100. So that would be 2 times x is equal to 1 times 100. So that will be 2x equal to 100. So we want x to stand by itself, so we're going to divide both sides by the number in front of x. And in this case, the number in front of x is 2. So we're going to divide both sides by 2. So that would be divided by 2, divided by 2. 2 goes into itself once, 2 goes here once, and 2 goes here 50. That means that x is equal to 50. Then we add the percent. So 1 over 2 as a percentage 
is 50%. So the question says, write nine out of five as a percent. So remember, we're going to write nine over five is equal to x over 100. We're going to solve it as a proportion, so we're going to cross multiply. So it's going to be nine times 100 is equal to x times five. So I want to remind you that it doesn't really matter where the x is. Once the x is positive, and stands on its own in the end, you're good. Whether it's on the right side or the left side, just make sure it's positive and it's standing by itself. So nine times 100 is 900 is equal to five X. We're going to divide both sides by the number in front of X so that X can stand on its own. So divide both sides by five. 5 here, 5 goes into itself once and goes into itself once here. X is by itself, then 5 goes here once, goes into 90 18 times, so we're left with 180. That means X is equal to 180. So 9 out of 5 as a percent is 180%. So the next part is ratio to percent. Always remember that um, a ratio can also be expressed as a fraction. So for example, two is to three can also be expressed as two over three. And once we're able to understand this, you know you could just solve this as a fraction to a percent like we did previously. 2 over 3 is equal to x over 100. We're going to cross multiply this way, and that would be 2 times 100 is equal to x times 3. 200 is equal to 3x. Divide both sides by 3, so x can stand on its own. 3 goes here once, and goes here once. 3 goes here once. Um, we can just use a calculator, and we would get 66.67. Or I could do the long division for you on this side, just so... If you don't have a calculator, you can just do this. So 3 into 200. 3 goes into 20. 3 times 6 is 18. We're left with 2. Bring the 0 down. 3 goes into 20. 6 again. Minus 18. Have 2. Decimal, another zero, six. It goes on and on and on and on. So we could just make the other one seven because we rounded it up. So that means two out of three as a percent would be expressed as 66.67 percent. Another example here is eight is to two as a percent. So the first thing we'll do is express it as a fraction. Eight is to two can also be expressed as eight over two. And we're going to change this to a percent. So that will be eight over two is equal to X over 100. That would be 2x is equal to 8 times 100. 2x is equal to 800. We want x to stand on its own, so we're going to divide 
will size by two. So it goes here once, it goes here once, and two goes into 80, 40 times, making 400. X is equal to 400. And that means that 8 over 2 expressed as a percent, or 8 is to 2 expressed as a percent is 400%. So I have these questions that I wanted to try out. I have three of them for each section that I explain. First one is six is to 10 as a percent. The second one is one out of five as a percent. And the third one is 12% as a fraction. I hope this video was helpful. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share my video.